7, that's our time. On Star FM sounding good all the time. It is another edition of On The Spot. Yesterday, I hosted uh, Dr. Bond, formerly known as Mads Baba Bond. Yeah, I must say, it was quite a show. Joining me in studio tonight is a gentleman who wears so many hats. I don't know how he does it. Uh, he's a, um, uh, a South African based a Zimbabwean who has managed to penetrate the international market, raising the Zimbabwean flag high. He is a film and TV producer, a songwriter, a rapper, actor, events planner. I mean, I can go on and on. A born Tapfu Manzara in the, I mean, is the best entrepreneur, a nicknamed known as um, T. Muller. <laughs> so he shall be taking us through his journey uh, to success and share more information about the 263 Culture Festival that is happening this coming Saturday at Belgrave Sports Club with artists such as Enzo, Lady Dew, um, Carmen Pella, ETC, and Nadia Nakai will be also there. So, so welcome to Zimbabwe, my brother Timola. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you for welcoming me. Uh, uh -huh. And thank you for bringing me onto your show. <laughs> Shout out to all the listeners. You know, I tune in all the time from South Africa myself. Oh, so. And today, today you are I'm on also, the seat. Yeah, so <laughs> so it's, it's, uh, it's such a pleasure to be here. Thank so how you. does it feel to be back home? Ah, Zimbabwe, no naka. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's nice, you know. I haven't spent so much time. I always do come back to Zim. Yeah. But usually it's just two, three days, no, and that's okay. Yes. But this time I've been around for a full month, mm -hmm. and, you know, it's it's really, really opened my eyes oh, to, yeah. to a lot of things. So mm -hmm. I'm really happy to be back at home. Exactly. So just that touch base, you can about ground right now at the moment. But ground it up, and I'm saying this to all the Zimbabweans in the diaspora. <laughs> You might think you know it's about ground, but about ground, you have no more fun go to. That's what it's just about ground, yeah. So uh, how frequently do you visit uh, Zimbabwe? I come three, four times a year. I do come, mm -hmm. but it's always just two days I'm out. Three okay. Two days I'm out. But this time, and that's why I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to So which part of South Africa are you based in? I'm based in Johannesburg. Johannesburg. Yeah. So how is life treating you that side? I mean, you are always, uh, you're all swagged up, you know, and your social media shows that you look fire in South Africa, or maybe it's just for the Instagram. Ah, South Africa's treated me well, you mm -hmm. know, but I won't um, shun anything to do. I, I mean, I'm trying to make sure that I, I put my feet back yeah. more solidly at home. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, shout out to Joburg, you know, for a young Zimbabwean to carve a name like I have in a city as big as Johannesburg. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy feat. A lot of it is uh, God credited, no doubt, mm -hmm. but hard work as well. And um, yeah, I've learned a lot of experience. I've gotten a lot of experience mm -hmm. um you know with my own journey and some of those things are where i see i see opportunity bringing some of that knowledge back home mm. i know you are a product of uh, prince edward but uh, who is tafuma where does he come from uh yeah i was at marist brothers first mm -hmm. kunyanga yeah uh and then after that then i went to prince edward mm -hmm. um yeah i'm a zimbabwean i was born in kwekwe and then I grew up most of my life mm -hmm. here in Harare. Uh, yeah, before I went to South Africa. Mm -hmm. So that's that's me. How did you end up in South Africa? I went to school first. Mm -hmm. You know, first I went to university. Okay. There, and then I found a job and then I started working, working until I got an opportunity to open up my own company. Mm. As I mentioned earlier, you wear so many hats. Uh, I mean, but it takes us. Uh, I mean, I want you to take us through uh, your journey. What did you start off with building up to where you are today? Um, I've always been, I'm, I'm a writer, I'm a rapper, I'm a mm -hmm. musician. Uh, in terms of my music career, I do have a lot of fans mm -hmm. uh, that, you know, I followed my journey and continue to follow my journey. But personally, I know that, uh, well, I would have liked my, my career as a musician to, be ha to have been a lot further by mm -hmm. this time. Yeah. But God took me on a different trajectory, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, being a musician, being a musician, being a musician, then I learned the art of producing mm -hmm. content. Yeah. I'm and that's where I actually skyrocketed, you know. So I'm, I'm also saying this because there's a lot of um, young kids that always ask me mm -hmm. about, uh, you know, I do event uh, music business consultancy yeah. to someone who says, ah, I can rap, I can write, I mm -hmm. can do this. And uh, you never know exactly where you might be placed, mm. you know, in mm. where you might actually carve 
your 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 career out of. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I always advise people to always move with an open mind. Great. Yes, you might want to be the the one in front of the stage, but mm -hmm. you might be a better artist manager. Yeah. You might be a better videographer mm -hmm. than a rapper. You know, you might make more of your money in a different space mm -hmm. than the one that you actually uh, thought about. Yeah. And how has been the journey so far? Uh, so far, so good, man. Mm -hmm. I'm humbled when I hear people talk about mm. about what I've done. Uh, like I could never actually say it like that. Yeah. For example, if somebody says, "Who are you?" I never introduce myself as <laughs> as Mula. Yeah. Never. Don't tapfuma. Tapfuma. You know, uh, mm -hmm. there's an air of humility that also has always just carried me mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I'll never say my name is Mula. But mm -hmm. everyone knows me as Mula. <laughs> you know. So <laughs> it's just to say, yeah. Um, it's difficult to explain mm -hmm. how how thankful I am for for where I am and what I've done. Great, uh, but you know, hey, we're good, man. Mm -hmm. It needs someone else to explain it. And then, <laughs> then it's wow, wow, wow. And, hey, yeah. So you are a film and television producer. Yes. Uh, did you go? For, uh, I mean, to school for it? No, I didn't. Eh? Uh, well, it also it all started from. I like, you know, I'm a rapper, I'm a mm -hmm. musician. Yeah. I'm connecting with people in that space. Mm -hmm. And then I saw an opportunity um, because of the, the demand for content. There's mm -hmm. a very, very big demand for content as the years have been going by. And so I saw an opportunity because I had access to a few assets mm -hmm. and then uh, cars. And then I took a car to a music video set and then I got more clients from mm -hmm. doing that. And then, you know, three, four people take, take my number. Could, yeah. could we also film with this uh, asset mm -hmm. cool i do the same thing again i do the same thing again down the line people are asking me for mm. houses for jets for boats wow and then through that mm -hmm. i learned about videography and mm -hmm. directing and stuff like that so it started from just me wanting to rap yeah and watching others do their thing just the passion and you mm. know and mm. now uh yeah the experience that i've gained over all these years mm -hmm. You can't teach it to someone in school. Eh? You know, back home, such degrees, Emma film producers are not regarded as, uh, as of any value, you know. Yet in other countries, uh, they consider them and they actually end big. videography and what not. So in your case, when you informed your parents that uh, you want to focus uh, on that, what was their reaction? I like typical African parents, uh, they shut it down. Eh? Mm -hmm. They were not interested in hearing about <laughs> this is guitar and stuff like that. Uh, but times are changing. Eh? Uh -huh. And I also urge a lot of parents to now like, um, you know, look at children who come from a creative space with a different um, approach. Mm -hmm. uh, because now some are doing very colossal things eh? mm -hmm. where your, your, your neighbor uh, yes. when you're in the doctors, I give us a bad So, there's a lot of the creative space is opening up, the world is changing, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, we should all now look at uh, you know, careers in the creative space mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with a different mindset. Great. So, what exactly happens in the film production? In film production, well, there's a lot of different elements to film production. Music videos is the um, what I call the start. Mm -hmm. Music videos are one-day shoots where it's a camera, it's an artist, there's uh, you know uh, the cast or mm -hmm. the models or the houses and stuff like that, and you shoot everything in a day. Mm -hmm. Usually, such productions can be done by a very small crew mm -hmm. but when you now do um movies and like long format productions where you're shooting for a month mm -hmm. you know and you're doing like six days 12 hours and one day rest now that needs like a much more intense team um of individuals mm -hmm. there's production design there's um you know uh, the, the the makeup and wardrobe and yes. stuff like that mm -hmm. so yeah it's 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 a big industry eh? I was casting a movie uh, recently, uh, which we're actually doing with some Hollywood actors. Mm -hmm. um, we're starting in, in January. Yeah. And that movie, the budget was about 850,000 US dollars for, for a three week shoot. Yo. But in Hollywood, mm. and even with the big South African companies, yeah. With the Mari man, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I've also got to learn, like in, in Hollywood, what they call. Uh, um, a low budget movie mm -hmm. is from 30 million dollars down 
<laughs> low budget. Yes. 30 million. Zijidzik. Low That's budget. the large budget. Low budget movie. Who knows? I think I do my movie. I got that wrong. So when you start learning such things and such yeah. numbers and looking at such productions, mm. yeah, it opens your eyes. Uh, you can get involved and get into such spaces where, you know, money can really be made. Like yeah. Life changing money can be made mm. in, mm. you know, in film and TV. So what are some of the films you have worked on? Um, I've worked on a lot of soapies in South Africa, all the Muvangos and Rhythm City. Uh, a lot of them, we've you know touched on them. Mm -hmm. Me myself, um, as an actor, there's a new movie right now that's on um, Amazon Prime that mm -hmm. just came out. It's called Mamba's Diamond. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in that movie as well. Okay. Yeah, that one is an international. It was shot in New York, mm -hmm. in um, Lagos, mm -hmm. and in Johannesburg. Wow. And then I got a chance to get a role <laughs> in Joburg. Wow. Although when I act, I'm mm -hmm. acting like I'm in New York. Oh, uh, but, but in Joburg. I was, it was done in Joburg. <laughs> uh, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of stuff. There's another one that's coming out on uh, Netflix mm -hmm. on the 26th. I think that should be tomorrow. So. Mm -hmm. It's a series called Magenta Call. Okay. That was also shot between Lagos and jo Joburg. Mm -hmm. um, also, I had a hand in the production of that. Um, yeah, a lot of things, man. A lot, a lot, a lot. So, lot. any local films amongst those you have uh, worked on? Um, I haven't worked on any local movies as mm -hmm. yet, mm -hmm. but I've been talking to some of the people in the space, like Anna Jo and Gaju mm -hmm. and them. Um, we're planning some stuff. I've been also talking to you know, tourism in mm -hmm. Zimbabwe and stuff like that to see how we can bring some movies into into Zimbabwe. Yeah. You know, some movies that um, could be filmed in the country. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've also worked with a lot of the, the, the you know, the directors in Z in Zimbabwe. Yes. Um, Anna Blacks, uh, Andy Carter, mm -hmm. Chris Shocker. I've done a lot of work with them. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, all of them understand the need for growth of the film and TV industry in mm -hmm. Zimbabwe. Yeah. So... Some of the experiences that I've taken from um, working in Joburg are the things that we want to now come and implement mm. in, in Zimbabwe. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So how did you manage to penetrate the arts industry in South Africa, especially being a foreigner? As a Guinea. I won't let it. By Guinea. By Guinea. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm going to go to the Right? I'm going to go to the ID, but I'm going to go to the ID. I'm going to go to the ID. I'm going to go to the ID. So, are you treated the same or you have uh, to go, um, I mean, an extra mile just to gain recognition? You always have to go an extra mile mm -hmm. if you're not off the land. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to, you know, do a lot more work prove yourself a lot more better mm -hmm. uh, but as you continue to do that it's no longer about where you're from yes you know, it's just about you know when you enter certain spaces and certain circles it's just about uh, do you know how to do your job well yes. you know mm -hmm. and uh, i believe that's where we are right now very where, true you know, people don't really look at mm. the nationality it's just can this person deliver exactly and that's it ah um, so in zimbabwe we've got uh, you know films uh, dramas you know that has been or that has been released uh, the likes of a uh, cook off, which uh, stars Mama Jesus Simongoshi, Nemangwe, I think I started about due to uh, maybe lack of funds, you know, Asata Buddha, and also um, my social media skits in Darugu Pisa Kunog Zimbabwe, and that's what I'm going to train right now, my skits. So, what's your take on uh, a Zim film industry? I think there's a lot of potential. Um, mm -hmm. The one thing that I've always known, uh, and which I'm even seeing a lot more, uh, is, uh, you know, Zimbabweans, we are just we're just so smart mm -hmm. we're just so our dna is just of another type and yeah. another kind mm -hmm. you know so anything coming out of zimbabwe is is definitely got super potential mm -hmm. um the only thing that i could mention that uh, i think not just about the film and tv industry but even about the music industry as well is that we just need to shape some of our content creation mm -hmm. in ways that cut across across the board mm -hmm. and as much as we um always keep the authenticity of doing things uh, for home we must realistically understand that um you know we are a small country in yeah. terms of our numbers mm -hmm. and therefore if we want to do the economies of scale and make sure that we are you know getting more streams more views on youtube mm -hmm. more we must just think out the box and think about how we can cut across um you know ac across the board into mm -hmm. into the rest of the world yeah. right now you know with the internet your the, the world is your oyster mm -hmm. so that's what we need to think about so that we can get you know 
20 million streams. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Great. So we've got uh, so many creatives who just, you know, like the platform uh, to showcase their work. Uh, I mean, we've got uh, the likes of um, Tonga Chirisa and Adanai Gurira who are doing the utmost uh, of work. And we are just so proud of them for representing us as Zimbabweans, you know? Mm -hmm. But we want more of them, you know, to also tap into the international market. Uh, where are we getting it wrong? Uh, I think it's the same. It, it, it touches on what I just mentioned, that we need to find a way to cut across mm. the board. Yeah. We need to do that. It's very rare that we find, um, you know, a lot of Zimbabwean artists on big, big events like uh, nah, uh, Afro, what, what, all over the world and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess our time will come, but we just need to figure out how we can create stuff that cuts across mm -hmm. the borders stuff that will be listened to in lusaka in maputo in johannesburg in uh vinduk in lagos you know what i mean mm -hmm. like with the cell phone with the hashtags yes. with um, yes. tiktok with stuff like that you can be watched in any part of the world yes, yes. but how do you curate stuff that you know is going to be loved in scandinavia mm -hmm. or eastern europe mm -hmm. or so we just need to be a bit more intense in, and to think bigger. Yeah. That's actually what the word is. Mm -hmm. We need to think bigger so that we can do things that have that intention, you know, mm -hmm. to, to cut across the world. But do you think we're going to ever, I mean, revive? We are, we are, we are. Mm -hmm. We're on the way. We're on the way. Mm -hmm. Right now, I've been following, like, the, 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 the music culture in Zim. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've always grown up, yeah. you know, and that's embedded in my DNA. Yeah. Um, but for some reason... Our dance hall, it was, it's only been mildly exported mm. as far as I've mm. always known. Mm. Uh, now I see the hip hop youngsters, eh? mm -hmm. they're on another level with the way, what, with what they're doing. And um, I feel like, uh, you know, everything, as, as time moves on, uh, borders are slowly eroding. Mm. As, as with our cell phones, now we are communicating across the world. So yeah. it's that use of technology that is going to take us to the next level, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, so we just need to keep up the intensity and to think bigger. So since you are uh, so passionate about film production, I mean, have you maybe taken some people under your wings, you know, to show them the ropes on how it's done? I always do that. I mm. always do that. Um, like I was saying to you, I do uh, ev um, entertainment business consultancy. Mm -hmm. So... Um, I'm always advising on career paths, on moves to make, mm -hmm. sharing contacts, bringing in people into work that I'm doing or productions that I'm involved in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and you know, when you're in the entertainment business space, you also need to realize that uh, your biggest check might come from putting somebody on. Mm. You know, that's something that you also need to be aware of. Yeah. You know? uh, it's that diddy effect, you know, where. You, you meet, uh, uh, you know, a B.I.G. and he mm -hmm. takes you to the nev next level. Yeah. Or Fat Joe. I remember if you listen to Fat Joe's story, he was always the best in his area. But where one day when he found Big Pun and then he put Big Pun on, Big Pun and him did a song that mm. I don't want to be a player. No, no more. That yeah. took Fat Joe mm. to the next level. Yes. And then everything else that he did was because he helped Big Pun. Mm. So, you know, in entertainment business, you have to keep putting on uh, others, mm -hmm. you have to, because that's how you will eventually grow yourself. Great, and uh, you know, Timan, uh, Tim Mulla, uh, you are also a songwriter. Yes, a rapper, and your song played in the famous movie Mama Jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which starred uh, Leon Schuster, right? Yep. So, how did you get that gig, my guy? That movie is huge. You know? Yeah, that was also just a stroke of luck. Eh? Yeah. Uh, it was a stroke of luck. We were at an event, mm. and I was performing at an event, and then there were some people who were watching in the crowd that mm -hmm. were, happened to be part of that production. Yeah. So when I got off stage, then they exchanged contacts, uh, and then, yeah, and then I went into the studio, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, I recorded it. They liked it. They put it on the movie. Wow. So it was just also a stroke of luck, uh -huh. you know, to... Somebody saw me while and I was. Did they give you something meaningful? I mean, money wise. Maria is on Bokwane. But uh, I'm thankful for what it's done for my career yes, as well. It yes. was also one of my highlights mm -hmm. in my career. Mm -hmm. So it, you know, it's done a lot. 
Um, yeah, but again, it was just a stroke of luck. Mm. Somebody caught me while I was doing my thing. Right. Great. You know, and that's how it works. Yeah, very true. So your bio mentions that uh, you have written quite a number of songs, you know, uh, for so many artists. Uh, give us maybe two or three, uh, or maybe my songs that became hits, you know. Uh, some of those I'm uh, not allowed to say because the contracts I signed mm -hmm. for that uh, they non disclosure. Don't, yeah, they don't allow me to to do that. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, they there are a few hits out there. Amaganyora, amaganyora, I mean. But uh -huh. uh, yeah, the, also it's, it's interesting that you speak about that because mm -hmm. the culture of ghostwriters has never really been there mm -hmm. in uh, in Africa. But vanuvau kutanga queens visi sa ona kuti. To go not Ola is our artist. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tese as a whole family bana but kujanani na ola nuku pukwa ola to mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But ola moonwana. Zimwengua inspiration again very, very high. Mm -hmm. Zimwengua in low. low. Mm -hmm. But when you low we papoga, upana time is usus no dosera mari on right. Saga Panumu Munachanura. Mm -hmm. So masong or ambaji piece you know what I mean? And that's how it works, mm -hmm. So that culture people are starting to understand it in Africa that yeah. it's business mm -hmm. is to make sure that the plane is still flying that the plane is in a fuel I pay a few I pay a few but if I pay a few I don't know but I don't know 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 disclosure agreement but no I don't know I've worked with these guys I've worked with these guys I don't know some of the big ones yeah but it's just some of the smaller artists mm -hmm. that you can find around yeah. right the likes of uh, in South Africa, I don't know if you know Fire G. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Fire G uh, from Short Boss Records. Um, who else have I done stuff with? I haven't written in a long time. Mm -hmm. um, for there's another artist called Volta. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I've written a couple. That's in of South Africa. In South Africa, yeah. Okay. It's mainly in South Any Africa. Any artists in Zimbabwe? No, my career in here, my writing career hasn't mm -hmm. done much. Oh yeah. But in Zimbabwe. Uh, film mm -hmm. production. Yeah. I, I still do a lot of stuff with a lot of Zimbabwean musicians mm -hmm. when it comes to shooting, um, you know, my videos. Mm -hmm. uh, that I can name. Yeah. Uh, Disappear, Winky mm -hmm. D. You did that? Yeah. Disappear. Mm -hmm. um, recently we did, um, what's it called? Japres and Felinandi. Yes. Yeah, that was us. Mm -hmm. Then we actually Waletikali Snows of Buddha. Yes. That was also us. The video? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I've also had the, you know, the the, 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 the opportunity to work with Japres mm -hmm. from Watura Mari yes. and other stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Shout out to JP uh, and the team. Mm -hmm. um, who else? We've done work with Tammy Moyo. Yes. We've done work with... Uh, uh, my mind is just a bit clogged. But, yeah. but a lot of the, a lot of the <laughs> no, artists. I, I understand. And uh, you have collaborated with uh, the likes of uh, Moonchild, Sanele. Um, worked with Casper uh, Nyovis, yep. the late AKA Davido. With the name, uh, I, mean, I mean, with the mentioned artist, and that uh, were you behind the production of their work or what? Yeah, it's in the film and TV production space. Mm. Yeah, as a producer. As a producer. Yeah. Nana AKA Magaro Abab. AK, we did the one uh, with AK and Costa Titch. Oh, that yeah, one. Yeah, we did that. Hey. We did Fela and Versace. Yes. We did, I've worked a lot of stuff with the AK. What mm. else have I done? Mm, those are the recent ones, but mm -hmm. there's some other stuff. We did AK and this kid from Mozambique. I'm forgetting his name. Yeah. But I've done five, six AK productions. Wow. Uh, four, five Davido productions. Uh -huh. Whiz Kid, maybe three or four. Uh -huh. Burner Boy, one or two. Uh, yeah, uh, we've worked with everyone. With those big artists. Mm, Akon is my recent one. We just we did three wow. mu music videos for Akon this year. Uh huh. Um, yeah. So l let's talk about that uh, Akon. How did you guys, you know, meet up with Akon? Yeah. Jesse is not going to rap a phone. Business is not rap a phone. <laughs> Mula and Davey uh, and Davey Siri say exactly. Peter Graft uh -huh. or Diani the Akon yes. ah bo. <laughs> just uh -huh. like that. So that's just how it works. And how does it feel, you know, uh, working with those big artists, big names in the industry? I they they cut good checks, man. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> they cut good checks, and I can pay my bills. Uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that that makes it good. Uh -huh. Um, you know, it's it's. It's, it gives you experience being around them, working with them, 
um, getting to hear their stories yeah. and they, you know, feeling their energy. Mm-hmm. And overall, it's just blessings. Yeah. yeah. But you don't know how to talk about it. I've been a boy and a David. Chi, why are you talking about it? Paneskiri na naga bata kapa jobe. Deribi. Ari wani keskiri. Chipo tu za skiri. Deribi ya ajudu. Na wuzatika recipe kaka dekadi kaka. Tu zo. Ah, kaka recipe kaka. Kaka iba. Kaka chiki chili. Kaka chiki chili. So having to analyze our music industry. How is it looking so far? Yeah, I'm, I'm so interested in the music industry in Zimbabwe, mm-hmm. you know, and um, I'm watching, I've always been watching, mm-hmm. so I know all the new songs when they come up, yeah. we hear them and we get to uh, look at the potential and mm-hmm. see where they go. And uh, I think there's only greater things for Zimbabweans. Like I was saying, like Zimbabweans are part of the smartest human capital mm-hmm. in, in Africa, yeah. I would think, you know, and... Um, this is only going to, you know, amplify more. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's a few things that we've been talking about with Anna DJ Tamuka yes. and some of the producers mm-hmm. about what we can do to, again, make the music cut across, mm-hmm. you know, the borders. The borders, yeah, yeah, yeah. very true. So that's that's the only way. South Africa, 50 million, 60 million people. Mm. It's a song, you know, 20 million views, what mm-hmm. YouTube, mm-hmm. Spotify, Chichi Chichi. Yes. Mm. So, so that's what we need to just keep figuring out. How do we how do we keep, um, you know, uh, putting our stuff out there? Mm, great. And uh, who is or are your current favorites, maybe artists here in Zimbabwe? In Zimbabwe? Yeah. Pane umwe anonzi Baga. Mm-hmm. Like Baga. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't know if you've heard of him. <laughs> I have the name. I, I have heard the, of the, the name, name before. Yeah. Yeah, Baga yeah, yeah. is dope. Uh, but I've always been a Jar Praiser fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've always been um, uh, a, a Winky fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, although more for his older stuff. I need to hear some of the newer stuff. You yeah. know, that's just my own honest opinion. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I like Vaults. Vaults. Uh, Holy Ten. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, Tammy Moyo's got a nice sound. Mm-hmm. I think Tammy Moyo's sound is is one of those sounds that can really cut across. Maybe to the international market. Yeah, mm. I think she's got that. Um, you know, she's got that finesse. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they're, they're they're a couple. They're a couple. <laughs> I do I do listen to Zim music. Uh-huh. You know, What's your take on Anita Jackson? Anita's dope as well. Mm-hmm. She's another one as well. She's really really good. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, yeah, I've liked quite a few of her songs. Also talking about Anita uh, Poptain as well. Yeah. Poptain named Tere. But I work Joe Big. Joe Big, yeah. I started on Bozikan. Wow. Hey, I'm going to read Roman numbers. Hey, I know Gona. I know Gona. I know Gona. I know Gona. So, and time again, I'm going to go. I'm going to blow my own. I've seen that, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, so I've seen a lot of them artists coming from afar. And yeah. it's, it's, it's humbling as well to see that. So let's talk about uh, Mula VIP Rentals. What is it all about? Mula VIP Rentals is uh, that's my company. Mm-hmm. So we we're a database mm-hmm. essentially of um, assets, and uh, we've got different markets that we supply those assets to: mm-hmm. cars, houses, uh, luxury assets mainly, mm-hmm. but not only. And uh, so we service the film and TV industry in um, in South Africa. Okay, people who are we're the ones who you can call and say, "Oh, I need a house." Is Nana and fellow T and his manager they want to shoot Mangwana. Okay, in okay. South Africa, yeah, mm-hmm. you know. So we're the people who you call when mm-hmm. you want quick access. Oh yes, yeah, to luxury assets mm-hmm. to. Film and production. You mean in the Chidaku shoot a video around Rimu Pombi, Mota Ganaka, Denia Ganaka, and Topata Mim? Those are traitors. That's what you do in South Africa. Those are traitors. Wow. I didn't know it's, it's it's quite a big business like that. The industry is big, yeah. The industry is big. So, who is doing it in Zimbabwe? I don't think. There's no one even in South he, Africa who does what we do. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it's much. Because no man, some of them are doing such things for you know videos and whatnot. Even in South Africa, yeah. there's there's no company that does exactly what we do. So it's a niche business. Mm-hmm. We found an opportunity and we've just been running with it and growing it and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how is it going so far? How is, how, how, how has it been? Oh, it's been a journey, man. Mm-hmm. My company is turning eight years. You know, eight years. Yeah, eight years in the business. So mm-hmm. yeah, we we solidly on ground. You know. Mm. So, you know, I've heard some scary stories about uh, car hire businesses, you know, that involve Juju. It is allegedly, you know, that most car rental uh, business for them to succeed in, 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 in that business, you know, <laughs> which is a bit <laughs> competitive. Uh, you need to up your game. How far true is that? 
Ah, I think those are just myths, bro. Mm-hmm. I think, uh, you know, they're myths. Mm. People who do Zim Shonga do Zim Shonga. Whether they drink Kaya or what I'm saying is I'm a frizzy. That's just that's just what they do. Yeah. But uh, no, nah, we we don't come from that line of uh-huh. uh, you know of um, of actions. Mm-hmm. Um, partially because um, you know we're not people who 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 desire too much more. Mm-hmm. We come, we're content with the the little that God gives us. Yeah. Know? So I always think that yeah, when you start seeing people like butter butter and stuff like that it's because mm-hmm. you know you're not content yeah you know you, yeah you're greedy mm. you know <laughs> <laughs> you're greedy yeah I, I like that yeah uh you know uh in all that we're talking about uh, from music acting producing that's actually how our businesses survive for that long mm-hmm. because today we're doing film Next time to get a in entertainment. Mm-hmm. Next time to act. Pampajo to get artist management. Yeah. Pampajo. So you know, um, the idea is to to do as much as you can. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But my heart, my heart is in t- uh, film production now. Mm-hmm. I would have said a few years ago. I would have been said in music. In mm-hmm. me being a musician myself. Mm-hmm. But now, film production. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. So this coming Saturday, the twenty eighth, you have a uh, you have something in store for us. Tell us about that. Yeah, so that's actually why I'm in the country right now. We've got an event. Um, yeah, we've got a, 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 a team of people that I work with in Harare, mm-hmm. um, and there's a company that we have formed called the Two Six Three Culture Hub. Mm-hmm. Um, it was very intentional to use those names, okay. you know, in the company. Mm-hmm. So we've got we're uh, we're launching the company with an event called the 263 Culture Festival. Mm -hmm. It's an annual event. It's going to be happening every year. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be doing other little events in between that might not necessarily be musical, maybe comedy, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. But anyway, this weekend we're launching with a bang. We're doing what I don't think has ever been done in Harare Mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. We're bringing nine artists from South Africa. Nine. Nine at the same time, Mm -hmm. you know. And then we're adding another nine Meiji to make as it well. to have in balance on the same day. Saga mm-hmm. for a musical fan, ga unugo jigo temuru ane machun like one out of eighteen. Out of eighteen. Out of eighteen. Out number one to say. I know one five. So of those nine, what books are there? Nine. We've got uh, Kamompela, mm-hmm. Arupisa now, and yeah. yes, Dali. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kamo's really hot. Uh-huh. We've got Amos. Amos, a lot of people know his music, but mm-hmm. they don't really know him. Him, oh, but yeah. Amos, Arupisa, mm-hmm. Jogudaro. We've got Amos. We've got MT. Mm-hmm. A lot of the hip hop guys know that MT. MT. Uh, we've got uh, Moosley. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's got some nice songs, but she's also going to be our MC. Okay. We've got Nadia Nakai. Mm-hmm. Uh, everyone knows Nadia. Yeah. We've got Black Diamond. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows Black Diamond. Black Diamond is going to be around. Yeah. We've also got Lady Do. Yeah. Lady Do is also a force to be reckoned with. Mm-hmm. Uh, who else did I leave out? Uh, uh, can I buy anyone that's here? Sorry. Mm-hmm. But we've got, yeah, that's the list of SA artists. Then the local ones. And then local, we had to make sure we've got uh, Ja Preza. He's our headliner for the event. Uh-huh. Uh, no doubt. And then we had to, we also called on Enzo Aishal. Mm-hmm. Enzo Aturi Popa, you know, he's ready and good to go and he's yeah. going to be pushing. Mm-hmm. Um, I left out Shasha. Shasha as yeah, well. Shasha is going to be definitely there. But, but why, why are you now making Shasha like she's now South African? Yet she's our very own from Mutare? Shasha the way do Shaman. Hey, but I don't know why you guys are. Why is she? Formula Shasha manje. Do you know that this is what we're going to do now? Right? Because Shasha Rutora married with Sega. South African is Zimbabwe. She is a Kwesa Rutora. She's got, you know. So if you're a Shasha's booking agent, yeah. you know, would you smile like, because. You know, so it's it's a good thing. You mm-hmm. know? Uh, we've also got DJ Tamuka, we've got uh, DJ King Her, mm-hmm. and then we've also got uh, um, some DJs from Mutare, yes. from Bulawayo, mm-hmm. from Gweru as well, um, that are not as well known. Mm-hmm. But we also wanted to give them an opportunity to you know uh, prove themselves mm-hmm. on on big stages as well. Yeah, and then. Um, 
yeah, we've got Baga coming in as well, um, and uh, K Flow. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and then there's one or two other conversations that we're still tying up, mm. but a lot of uh, local artists are now interested in in being part of the show. Yes, and yeah, uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, uh-huh. uh, Denim Woods as well uh-huh. is somebody. Denim Woods and Soon as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we've got a we've got an array of music. Mm-hmm. It's something that you don't want to miss because it's never been done before. Yeah, and that's how we intended on launching mm-hmm. the company. Um, obviously, to bring such a, a, a hectic lineup, yeah, is uh, is very expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, it's going to benefit a lot of the small to medium enterprises mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. the country. Um, it's going to benefit a lot of vendors. Yes. And what we are actually intending on doing by doing such a, a, a heavy show is to attract the corporates, mm-hmm. to make the corporates understand the value of being involved with such events. Mm-hmm. Uh, because, you know, the way we've seen a lot of events all over the world, they, a lot of them are very strongly corporate supported. Mm-hmm. And that's where the ability to to, you know, to give fans uh, you know, uh, uh, never forget. I think that's experience. where we are lacking here in Zimbabwe. You know, the corporate funding is showman towards Nyazima art, the arts, especially gigs and whatnot. They're like, yes, no, in your own opinion, why is it that we are on board like that? My corporates, I think, um, they it's it's about proving to them, letting making them understand mm-hmm. where the value is of, um, of the creative sector, yes, um, and sometimes. It might not be obvious, but but it's the truth. You yeah. know that the co- the the creative sector mm-hmm. is very very powerful. If you want to sell products, you're selling them to the masses, and mm-hmm. what moves them is music. Yes, music is the one thing that no one can spend the day without listening mm-hmm. to. You know, everyone mm-hmm. you have to listen to music at some point in yeah. time in your day. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're also trying to to make uh, some of the corporates understand. Yeah. just that value of involvement in the creative sector. Mm-hmm. Um, I think a lot of the corporates, um, they, they they shy away from it and they don't really look at it, possibly because uh, some of the things that they're getting are very free. Mm-hmm. But the creative sector, Yes. That's why Exactly. So of late, these artists here are Murgunza from South Africa, you know, um, and from other borders. Zimbabwe. lip singing, you know, and perform for twenty minutes uh, maximum. <laughs> and leave. Why is that happening, my brother? But then I got twenty minutes at the corner. And I, but also, maybe <laughs> the fact I said, why is that happening? Okay, so as far as I've seen, bro, um, uh, you know, everyone has a certain act, mm-hmm. you know, they are, and for like an events promoter, um, sometimes you just want in the meantime, ribiri, but I'll chat as much as this is one because Miss Aga says, Zeta do Raguri says, right? Yeah, with Anaga Nemato. So it's also about understanding. The, the the as a music manager mm-hmm. it's about understanding what your act is and how long it can sustain interest mm-hmm. because you've invested so much time and money into a certain career mm-hmm. that you don't want it to die off one bad performance are, and that yeah. can happen mm-hmm. very true so if you're a music manager you need to know what the artist wangu yiga achiri mnyu wani ani one number no nakizaga kati ngomuti wani chojo mm-hmm. chichimbo biga mstudio chichaga rimu iracho kuti tizo di two exactly. tizo di three mm-hmm. kune wangu mm-hmm. anone mm-hmm. one album two album three album wanongo noro waji yeah. one hour raga kwana mm-hmm. two hours raga kwana wasi nama disruptions mm. it's them it's their blessing to have so many hits oh, yeah. to have a hit in this world is a blessing because <laughs> wana <laughs> now, now I understand. Yeah, so, so what people uh, what should people uh, expect uh, at this event? Uh, people should expect um, you know an array of music. Mm-hmm. Um, if you look at our our lineup, mm-hmm. we're touching on on hip hop. We're touching on mature music. We're touching on piano. Mm-hmm. We're touching on different sounds as well. Kuni dancehall as well. So anyone who's coming to this show, if you miss it, which has go, which I quite a fear of missing out because it's going to be the best show to ever happen in this country uh, this year at least. Mm-hmm. You know, or yeah. 
yeah, this decade, if not. You know. <laughs> <laughs> there are some uh, fans who are asking, Ola, is that uh, the man who acted um, in Blood and Water? Ah, uh, no, 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 that's not me. That's okay. Not me. Uh, someone saying, Anzoni Emula, Anonyorwele, but script and the names of the soap, which, uh, which name or real name? Maybe, but I don't know for my credits. For my credits, yeah. Sometimes it's my company, Mula VIP Rentals. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's me, Tapu mm -hmm. Manzara. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, great. And um Dana Zan Mabayaga, Tradu Mutumbo T Timbons why you mut be freestyle. Freestyle. Yeah, Muri Repa Zaka wanted some item dara. I may a rap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> on the Juma. <laughs> but I'm an artist. Uh -huh. Are you ready for me? Yeah. I come with the speed of a lightning train. I rock the whole dance floor, they go insane. I got the kind of lyrics that will get into your brain and we moving all the slow cats out of the lane. They hustling lame. Some of these niggas are tame and they ain't got no money. All they got is fame. We ain't in it for the fame. We only in it if it's pain. Selling these words, all these lines that we spraying, all these beats that we slaying. We working, we ain't playing, no delaying. We cutting any anchors and we sailing. Yo! <laughs> we got the fire. <laughs> Team Mula, okay, okay, okay. No, I mean, you're onto something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think you push everything to this side because uh, a lot of people have been asking, Ola, who is this guy? Who is this guy? I'm like, he's Team Mula. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> he's Team Mula. So I think you've made, I mean, your name in South Africa more than you've done in Zimbabwe. Yeah, you could say that. Mm -hmm. You could say now that. Now we need to push. So that people say, okay, oh, this is Team Mula. Boys, uh, this is why Tagupa, this platform, we are big in South Africa. So when I heard that Team Mula is in, is in Zim, I said, okay, let me bring this guy on my show. So, yeah, you know, people, are, are, I mean, a lot of people are used to uh, <laughs> controversies and whatnot. So they were expecting some, a bit of controversy uh, <laughs> okay. from you. Unfortunately, <laughs> there is no much controversy uh, to talk about. Oh, there is none, okay, for now. Tati Timbo could introduce you to the you know, Zim market. No, thank you very that's much. That's the aim, man. or thank that's you, the purpose to to move up this uh, this show to, tonight. So, how can people get in touch with you? And that was Oshanda on their way. But that was the way I was Oshanda on their way. But that was the way I was Oshanda on their way. And that was the way I was Oshanda on their way. And that was the way I was Oshanda on their way. And that was the way I was I've actually found out that I get blessings from, you know, from from connecting people and doing things without without always trying to Trying to put a zino. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But uh, to get in touch with me, you can get hold of me on Instagram mm -hmm. at uh, M U L A underscore VIP underscore rentals. Uh, yeah. Mula underscore VIP underscore rentals. Mm -hmm. um, our website is mula VIP rentals mm -hmm. co dot z a. That's if you want to get in touch with uh, with our office. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but if you just say Mula VIP, yeah, uh, yeah, and this is, yeah, you know, and that's great. Uh, that is a uh, Mula VIP on the spot. And uh, next week, it's gonna be a big one. Um, hey, next week, that are passion rooms around my surprise. Uh, that's a very big surprise. Next week, it's gonna be a big show. Trust me, uh, boys, my rooms have been there. Mula. But uh, yeah, it's quite big. It's quite big. So yeah, see you on Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday. See you on Saturday. Yep. Make sure we yeah. we're all there together. Exactly. Star FM team. I we're know. We're coming. We're yeah, coming. We're coming. Yeah, yeah. All the viewers, all the listeners. Saturday. Check out the chat for Belgravia Sports Club. Uh -huh. Yeah. And I've seen my team from Talk Chat. They're, they're also there. Talk Chat is also there. Talk Chat is actually giving away <sighs> some cell phones. Wow. Sagapata Talk Chat. Connect my competition to put my phone to so say, say, say on Saturday. Saturday, yo, definitely yo. I'll be there. Yeah. You know, I'll be there. So thank you so much, guys, for watching and also listening. And also those who are watching on Facebook, we really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. My name is DJ Ola Seven Owen. We come on the big again on radio next week at the same time uh, on the after drive. Okay, you can follow me on Instagram at DJ Ola Seven Facebook page DJ Ola Seven Star FM and also my ex handle at DJ Ola underscore Seven. But don't forget to follow us on the big one at Star FM Zimbabwe on Twitter at Star FM underscore ZW on Instagram. Thank you so much for now. It's news time with Chiesa Kandengwa.